jumping on camera right now is very random unexpected because one I wasn't expecting the film today and two it's really late it is actually 3 30 in the morning and it's not abnormal for me to actually be up this late but now I am seriously going through some things that is tissue that is really just <laughs> bothering me and I'm tired I'm tired of it but it's just gonna take some time and a lot of work first of all before I talk to you guys further and tell you guys what I am referring to I'm just gonna say sorry initially for my energy and me being off um, I feel like I pride myself on being very honest very open very raw even when people feel like i shouldn't i just wanted to come back to the basis of what brought me here in the first place and here meaning youtube so i always like i said before pride myself on trying not trying but just being my authentic self and expressing my hurt my pain and things like that and this is definitely one that is hunting me so I haven't really been keeping you guys up on what's been going on since having baby girl Noel and that's just because one it's hard it, it, it it's not as hard as I thought it was gonna be but nonetheless it's still really hard but I come to realize that the reason that I am somewhat struggling and being distant is because I've been suffering in silence and this is something that I have come to recognize in the last couple of weeks. And what I am meaning is that I am suffering from postpartum anxiety. So before I go further, I don't have no rhyme or reason on how I plan to do this video. I'm just going to talk to you guys like I always do and not trying to give no tips or anything like that. I'm just going to be myself and just come out as it is. So sorry if it comes off a little bit chatty, but hopefully this can help me one day or even someone else but in the place I am right now I am suffering from postpartum anxiety and if you don't know what postpartum anxiety is because I didn't know so there's kind of somewhat different aspects or ways that you can look at postpartum anxiety but this is one of them and this is kind of more or less of what I'm dealing with so postpartum anxiety is the close cousin but not as common as postpartum depression. Even though it isn't as well known, 5 to 10% of new moms experience postpartum anxiety. While postpartum depression causes tears and hopelessness, postpartum anxiety is marked by fears, obsessive concerns, scary thoughts, and irritability. They often experience obsessive behavior, intrusive thoughts that are disturbing, unwanted, and out of character. You may find yourself checking on your baby 50 times to make sure your baby's still breathing, having an unshaky worry that you might slide into a bathroom and drown, or hurry images of your baby getting hurt by someone else. So another way that uh, postpartum anxiety is described is as being just overly concerned and on edge all the time. But from the article that I have just read, this is how I'm experiencing it. And that is mostly when it comes to having bad thoughts that something is gonna happen to my babies, like all the time. And it's kind of like that same concept, like, have you ever visualized like your parents dying and just the 
thought of them dying brought tears to your eyes and you just try to shake that out and then you just like kind of just be grateful that they're still here and then just keep moving so imagine having those thoughts about your kids pop into your head several times throughout the day in a way that is almost haunting me no it's not almost it is haunting me it's not like i'm being over obsessive and thinking about things and then negative things happen no, I could be easily in mid-conversation and next thing you know, I visualize me dropping my baby in the sewage or getting into a car accident where I have to figure out which baby I'm going to save or going out on a boat and then my baby fall off. Like, this is several times a day that this, like, hunts me, these thoughts. And today, I was having them thoughts not too long ago and I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to talk about this because... I'm so tired because it's crazy I didn't know that this was a thing I, I thought that I was just being um, I mean when it comes to a point of you constantly always thinking something's gonna happen to your baby I don't want to think about that at all but it's crazy because I come to realize that I've been dealing with postpartum anxiety probably since Nala was three months and because you know you never hear of these things you you never think it's a problem you think it's your obsession to make sure your baby's okay but I think when I started to realize something was wrong was when I think Nala was like 10 months and it got to the point to where I was so overwhelmed of something happening there were a couple of instances where I think could have contribute to having these thoughts but it got to the point to where it got really stressful to where I was having conversation with close friends that I knew didn't have any association with my inner life. So say like really close co-workers and things like that. Because I didn't want someone close to my inner life or circle to think I was crazy. And then again, it happened again maybe after she was like, probably like a month later, maybe about 11 months. I had another episode where I started to do research like is it normal that someone's always constantly thinking about their baby dying or something's wrong gonna happen or they're gonna drown so I think my last straw was like a couple of weeks ago and I'm like man I need to really figure this out because having these visions several times throughout the day is is annoying it's not healthy because then it started to trickle into normal anxiety to where I'm like very cautious that my visions like that little raven is going to come true. So I started to do some research and I literally put in my phone, is it normal for, for people to think their baby is always going to die? And this time postpartum anxiety came up and I'm pretty positive this is what what it is because that is my actual problem to come to realize that i have this issue and that it's actually a problem i think heightens the problem itself because now i acknowledged it and i realize it so now when i see it happening it's worse so i'm currently seeking out postpartum type of counselors and five to ten percent of women having this is a very low number and i know having postpartum depression is very very serious they say it's like 80 percent of women that die from postpartum depression and my biggest fear is that my postpartum anxiety is going to get so bad to where that my fears are going to come true or two my anxiety is just going to control everything my whole world my whole life my whole everything to where i can't trust nobody like it's not like i don't trust 100 percent anybody with my kids outside of me not even david and 
that's sad the biggest thing is I, I i want you guys to know that if you're dealing with a hyper sense of worriness that you probably could be dealing with the same thing they say it's abnormal to deal with postpartum anxiety longer than i think the first couple of weeks after having a baby but after those couple of weeks you're you're jumping into more severe territory so one thing i do want to mention before i forget is one big thing i think could have contributed to me having postpartum anxiety is i think the hyper research i have become so prepared in having kids before i actually have kids that i think learning about like SIDS and being very in tune with what could happen the suffocation and stuff like that and i think around the time i had nala there were like situations on youtube of people's babies dying from SIDS and things like that and i think that learning about the whole SIDS situation had kick-started my worries because around the three or four mark mark is when we were concerned about Nala turning and stuff like that and about the time she was about five months she was flipping in the bed and her not knowing how to hold her head up was so scary for me so if I could give any advice I would say to not overthink to not overfeed yourself with anything I think there's a healthy balance in and intuition and knowledge but that's just my opinion but I think being overly prepared has been sort of the kryptonite in my situation so now I have Noelle who is four and a half months and she's in a situation where she's close to rolling over and I think that is going to make it worse and I feel like because so many things that has gone wrong in my life that I feel like sometimes I feel like God is gonna I'm sorry hold on. pick me to have the testimony of something going wrong with the kids I try so hard not to think like that but when you when you have gone through so many situations that has gone wrong it's hard to not think something won't go wrong so i'm in the midst of the storm right now but i know one day that i will come out of it however it is i will try my best to keep you up on my journey but right now it's just hard you know and i'm i'm suffering in silence and i don't think i should have to i know there's many people in my life that don't understand the dark side of pregnancy and childbearing or um, being a parent they don't want to acknowledge it as being facts but i've always been a person to feel like it's okay to not be okay which is why i'm letting you guys in like i said i do plan on getting help because it's just unhealthy and especially in the black community mental health isn't acknowledged and it needs to be and i think postpartum anxiety is a thing that needs to be known as well as depression that's not the only thing we should be fearing so i don't really know what else to say at this point i'm just tired of this battle of my thoughts in my head so this is the reason why i haven't been letting you guys in as much i haven't been telling you guys what's been going on and keep you updated it feels like after having noel there's been a big shift that I, I couldn't comprehend now i do i see it but now i actually got to do something about it so like i said i'm in the midst of looking for doctors that i feel get help <laughs> and not try to just prescribe me medicine but yeah um this is what's been going on this is partially of my postpartum update um there's more that's been happening i've been battling a heavy amount of hair loss and stuff like that so i really want to put that in a separate postpartum update video i will be talking to you guys about that but i wanted this video to be about 
what's mentally going on. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. This is just who I am, where I'm at, and I hope that one day this video can help me as well as help other people out of this very type of position because it's scary and I don't think other people who either don't have kids or men understand what we go through when we have children and the possibilities that come along with that and it's crazy because I've gone so long thinking that I'm okay but I'm not so yeah I think I'm just gonna end this video here I really do appreciate you guys support we've been here on YouTube for a little over two years now and just having you guys have my as well as my family's back is such a beautiful thing so if you have any questions and things like that just comment down below because I could probably put answer those in another video maybe even in my next postpartum update video so I just want to open discussions below yeah we'll go from there so I definitely love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one